What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got our first team of the year midfielder to review and it is going to be N'Golo Kante, a player that has been upgraded really nicely because they haven't just touched the stats, they also went ahead and touched the skill moves as well. They actually gave him a skill move upgrade, so going from 2 star to 3 star and I understand that's not like a huge deal, it's not going from 3 star to like 5 star or even 3 star to 4 star let's say, it's just... With the three star skill moves now being added to N'Golo Kante, the skill move he can actually pull off, which is really effective, is the roulette. And the roulette is very, very nice this year. It gets you out like really tight angles, and it's a very skill move to actually, a very easy skill move to actually pull off as well. So yeah, the fact they gave him a skill move upgrade, top tier for me, eh? Now the stats on the card. 90 pace, 91 dribbling, 84 shooting, 96 defending, 90 passing with a 90 physicals as well. He's a 5 for 6 player with medium high work rates, 3 star skill moves and a 3 star weak foot. If we are talking about the price he's going for, let's not talk about it. Alright, the chem style. Basic chem style is what I've gone for, but there is so many chem styles you can use on this card. The anchor is good. The hunter chem style is good. Imagine I'm saying a hunter chem style on N'Golo Kante. Who would have thought, right? But look how good the defending stats just straight off the bat. Look how good they are. Just, it, it's genuinely ridiculous how many 99s he already actually has got. So, yeah, you could use the Hunter if you really want to. But, yeah, as I was saying, Anchor, Hunter, Basic, Hawk is also good if you want to boost up long shots. There's so many. The reason I've gone for a Basic is because it picks out certain stats that I want to, like, I need, not really need, but I want to get upgraded, let's say. So, Sprint Speed, I kind of want that to go up. Boom, you got plus five, so it's up to 91. You got shooting, uh, you got attacking position going up, shot power going up, volleys and penalties. Yes, we would have liked the long shots and finishing to go up, but it is what it is. The passing ability. The thing about N'Golo Kante is like, a uh, gold card, flashback, and even he's first in form. Those three are not amazing at passing. They're just like, they're so bang average, let's say, where they will 100% screw up a lot of passes. But with this team of the year card, you can actually pass very, very well with because he's now got 99 vision, 99 short passing, and 99 long passing with that basic chem style. And then you look at the dribbling ability. I'm not really worried about the dribbling. I feel like he's going to feel amazing on the ball. It's just the basic chem style giving him 96 agility, 96 ball control, and 95 dribbling definitely will help. And the defending ability, I mean, the only stat that really needs upgrading is slide tackling, and you're getting that up to 99. And then if you're looking at the physicals, the jumping goes up to 92, and his strength goes up to 87. So yeah, I definitely do feel like the basic chem style is up there. It's just, is it the way to go? It kind of depends on how you want to use N'Golo, right? And the other thing that I'm really, really happy with that they upgraded is the shooting. None of these other cards can shoot. He's second in form, he's first in form, flashback, gold, none of them, right? So the fact that they went ahead and gave him 90 shot power with 83 finishing, 92 attacking position and 83 long shots is really, really good. Now, if we are talking about the links with this card, just look around, you know, I mean, Dembele, Mbappe, Kempembe, you got Ferland Mendy, the Saw card that you can get as an objective card, he gets a hyperlink with this N'Golo Kante. So yeah, links wise, amazing now positions center mid cdm position 4231 442 let's get into the games because i'm very excited to use this card let me just give him the ball here and go for a quick dummy that is a heavy touch but he's done so well to actually keep that ball i'm gonna go for one of these passes to see if this is gonna work out and look how perfect that pass actually is just gonna pass it across here this guy's got a lot of players back but angola can't eh? sitting there great turns you know what why not green timed as well Larice didn't even do an animation. I thought he was going to dive at least. It was just slightly off target. I'm just going to chip it into him. Take that touch. Hold off that player. Nice. Good turns as well. Well played. I'm just going to run here. Just trusting his pace to maybe get around for Kier. And that is how he's going to take us out. Really nice just dribbling there. Just taking it very composed. He used his uh, strength to hold off. I believe it was Martial really well. Look at the transition speed. Look how fast he's just going left and right. I'm just going to show you guys. Like, look at this. I can cover any angle I want to. It's a good cutback, but we read it. No, N'Golo Kante is going to drop down, but he's instantly back up. He literally was on the ground for a solid second. Can we go for the pass here as well? Come on, Dembele, get onto it. Nah, the pass was good. It's just Dembele, I feel like, wasn't making a full-on run there. Get out to him here. Don't allow him to turn. There you go, man. Well played, N'Golo. The thing about him there is the fact that he got out to the player really, really quickly to the point where I could go on the other side of the player and just read him. Look at that, man. Look how fast he is in that midfield. 
I'm just going to pass that to Dolpeach and just keep it simple. He's actually making movement on the edge of the box there. But you see how he's backing away now. Nice little turn. We're going to go for this. Across. Lloris pulled out a really nice save. You see that movement towards that open space? The issue with N'Golo, though, is the fact that he hasn't got that high attacking work rate. If he had the high attacking work rate, right there, he would continue that run, stay in that, like, little middle pit there, and he would give me an amazing passing option. It's just because he's got the medium attacking, he will uh, try to make the run, but then hesitate and go back into position. I'm going to push out here slightly. I reckon he's going to go back up, though. There you go. We read that. Keep it composed. There you go. Nice little ball roll as well. Switch it. No, it's on that three-star weak foot. But you know what? That ain't actually too bad of a pass. No, if Dembele was a little bit faster, he actually could have got that. I might just get onto him here. I'm not going to allow him to turn. No chance. There you go, man. We was covering both sides there. He couldn't turn left because we was there. He couldn't turn right because we was there. Onto him. Don't allow him to get past you. Keep it going. There you go, man. There's the aggression and the strength combining with each other so he can get that ball. No finesse shot. I'm not allowing that finesse shot. No chance. N'Golo Kante, N'Golo Kante kind of glitched into the player there. Like, I didn't actually commit with him, but he just went straight for it. Pass it. Nice. Good touch. Look at the acceleration into the space as well. I want him to run there because... I want to see if we can get a goal. That's green timed as well. There you go, man. He hasn't got anything outstanding when it comes down to the long shots. We all know that. But he definitely will be able to score him time to time. Pass with a gap. Him with a roulette. That's perfect, man. That's a perfect example of where the roulette would be super nice. And that looked like a really good animation for the volley. But it's going to go off target. I'm just going to get onto him here. No, I actually went straight past him. I can't control sometimes. He's uh, he's pace, let's say. Like, he's so, so fast in the, midfield, in the midfield to get out to players. Sometimes I go actually past them. I'm just going to cover everything, literally. Left, right, it doesn't matter. N'Golo Kante is there. Go for a turn there as well and just smack it. No, he locked onto the wrong player. <laughs> kind of want to get him inside the box, but every time I try to bring him forward, he pushes himself back into that CDM position, which I don't really want to do. Good roulette. No. Oh, look at his dribbling. Like, you see those little tight touches that he's taking? This is the thing with N'Golo Kante, right? He's got that unique body type while also being 5'6 with amazing dribbling ability, uh, dribbling stats, sorry. So, you know for a fact, he's going to feel really nice on the ball. Give it all the way over to N'Golo. Should we go for a switcher play here? I guess why not, right? If he touches that round him, oh my god, that's actually perfect. Go for the finesse shot as well. I always rush stuff. I should take that inside the box. I'm just going to play that forward. Good little touch as well. I see you, Dolgleish. It has to be a perfect pass. Yeah, Dolgleish is in. When he's in like that, you know it's going to go into the back of the net. Yeah, it is. There's a gap there. I'm going to see if I can cover that and Golo Kante with that reach. Actually intercepting that ball really well. I'm surprised with the amount of power, especially behind it, it didn't go further. Play it there. Can he go through the middle? He can. He's got like a really nice, really, really nice acceleration touch. Like as soon as I give him the ball, I can go for an instant acceleration touch through the gap. And it's like a perfect touch to allow him to run onto it. Cover that through the middle. Yeah, there you go, man. He actually got out to him really nicely. Just go for a ball roll in front of the player as well. Let's see this, if this is actually going to work on a three-star weak foot. That is a pass I was not expecting to actually work out. Especially on a three-star. Like... You don't expect it to work. You honestly don't, but it was a beauty of a pass. I'm going to put on a high press. See if I can maybe get that ball. There you go, man. Out to the player really nicely, and he puts in a good interception. I would have wished if he actually made the run there, but it doesn't matter. That is awful defending. I'm not going to lie to you guys, and we're hitting his first time. We even green timed there as well. I was expecting a better volley. I might go in and slide tackle this guy. He's, he's holding the ball for way, way too long. Cover that through there. No, I'm actually going to go for it. That's a perfect slide tackle. That literally had to be perfect as well. Otherwise, we give away a penalty. If I turn here, I'm going to have to hit it on a three-star weak foot. But you know what? Let's give it a go. Let's see what's up. And it wasn't actually too bad of a shot. Can I play that? No, I can't. Play it back to him. Here with a roulette. Turn. What a turn. Chip him as well. That would be the perfect finish. Okay. Maybe not. That's a good run. That is a very good run. Is he on site? I think he is, and that's an unreal turn. Did you see how quick the shot cancel actually came off of him? And it just allowed me to go for that turn right there, which you just saw, and just go for an easy goal. Give it over to Kante. Nice touch. He's going to keep going. Chip him. It's perfect. This is the 
perfect angle. There you go, man. Side netting and everything. It's an amazing finish. It's an amazing run as well. I do like how I can just pick up the ball with him and just sprint. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games with this Kante card, not five like it shows right there. We scored three goals and we also came out with a single assist as well. There's so much to talk about with this card. Pace wise, the way he gets out the players amazing genuinely amazing and then the transition speed with the 99 reactions coming into play you can tell how responsive it actually is going left perfect going right perfect he covers both sides it's honestly amazing to work with in that midfield and then the shooting ability none of these other cards they give you a sh they give you a shooting ability but then this card you can take long shots you can sh take shots inside the box and you saw how many goals we scored passing ability i thought the freestyle weak foot was going to be a slight bit of an issue time to time, but it wasn't. It was curving round players, and I genuinely couldn't believe how good the three-star weak foot actually was with the passing ability. It's so satisfying to see Kante with amazing passing because the card I usually use is not the second in form. It isn't the first in form. It isn't even the gold card. I use the flashback a lot. So seeing a Kante that can actually pass a ball is so, so nice. And the dribbling ability, my God. As I told you guys, I've used the flashback card for a very long time. And this card is miles better on the ball. The way you can twist and turn is amazing. And then defending and physicals, I mean, they speak for themselves. So let's just put it that way. Now, the card is expensive. He's 4 million coins. He's going for the same price, didn't enough, as, uh, what's his name? Messi. No, it's not worth it. 100% Kante will drop in price. There's no doubt about it. He will not stay at 4 mil. 100% he won't stay a 4 mil. If he was an attacker, that's understandable, right? Because attackers usually go for more than like midfielders and defenders. It's just 4 million coins for N'Golo Kante. It definitely is overpriced. Now, where would he go in the midfielders tier list? Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's even a question, right? It's an S tier, 100. 100% he goes into the S tier. If there was an S plus, he may as well go into that one as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now... Peace.